soir, Pauline. Ça va bien. Et toi? Hello, Laura. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Um, Isma, hello? better now nice um, hi I'm Violet from Korea hello Violet from Korea how am I today freedom yeah I'm good I'm good I feel free um, rate the skirt dot co half zip come on Elliot knows about the skirt Loved uh, watching the video of Freedom. Loved seeing your apartment that I feel like I'm so familiar now. Yeah. So, man, free the, fr the video for Freedom came out today. Uh, and yeah, it, it feels so surreal. Literally, I got a message three days ago saying, we're filming the video, the music video for Freedom. And, uh, they're like, you need to get out of bed and just fucking do it. And so, yeah, did it in a couple of hours, just filming on my iPhone. And then literally sent it to Kaigo and his team. And blam, it's out two and a half days later. Uh, my day is going well. It's going well. Uh, I am, yeah, just been learning these songs. What do you guys think of the video? The improv robot dance was good. I have to agree with you there. I mean, the, doing the robot is, is one of uh, one of my favorite things to do in life. And I'm just happy that I finally had an outlet for that feeling that I have. Um, how am I coping without a trim? I don't know. If, I, to be honest, it's a massive potluck. I just shower and then arrive here. And this is what we've got today. It's kind of like a forward thing, but then somehow we've ended up with some curls as well. I don't know where they've come from. Um, Izzy loved the light and knees apart thing, yeah. A little light when I'm down on my knees. Gotta say that was one of my ideas. Oh yeah, Ebat says, can you teach me how to cook bananas, apples, etc., and make rice? Look, you know, I lived with uh, an amazing chef for a long time. His name was Epi Vegan. And so he taught me some tricks of the trade. Um, you know, in time, if you practice enough, you can also achieve the, uh, the, you know, the banana, onion, raw potato, and tangerine dish going into a, a mushroom risotto. It's, it's not easy. But it's possible if you if you practice enough and you have enough faith in your art. All right. So the first song of uh, of the quarantine live stream is what's it called again? Strange Roses, and it's by a friend of mine actually called Adi Suleiman. Some people call him Adi Suleiman. I've just always called him Adi Suleiman. I could be wrong. He hasn't corrected me yet, so we'll go with that. Yeah, I really like the song. It's a beautiful song. And uh, it's going to test my horrendously terrible falsetto. So if I mess up on the falsetto, it's because I'm terrible at falsetto. But you're going to hear it anyway. So you'll get, you'll get what you're given, basically. Let's go. Mm. There ain't a reason that we can change But every time it ends up the same I wanna hold you for all my days But I can feel my grip loosening And though I see you 
laying here right next to me I never felt so far away nah, And I don't think of you Really know what's going on And I don't think of you No, no Suddenly roses feel strange If I could show you how we used to be Then maybe you will stay We kinda know what is up us And though I see you playing here right next to me I never fell so far away now And I don't think of you Really know what's going on I don't think of you Suddenly roses feel strange There we go um, Yeah, Adi Suleiman putting my falsetto to the test Normally I like I do falsetto a lot when I'm doing BVs and stuff so you know, and these are the days. I like do it in for like backing vocals, but generally speaking, I never ever write songs where I actually have to sing the falsetto as the lead, because I don't know. I've just, I've just never done it. it feels so strange. Um, strange roses, in fact. Cool. The second song that I was, uh, to be honest, I was requested three songs, but as you know. I get to choose two, so I just chose these two. So the second one is Crazy by um, by Niles Barkley. So I'm going to do that. To, from, in my opinion, right, I feel like this is the best pop song ever written. Like, categorically the best. For so, so many reasons. Vocally, uh, CeeLo Green's unbelievable. The songwriting is so simple, but it can be as deep as you want it to be. And yeah, it's also just so melodically smart as well. Like the chorus, the, the first note of the chorus is the same note as the verse, just an octave higher. It's amazing. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. If anyone came to my uh, my Scala show back in the day, we did a little uh, 30 second cover. So if you were involved in that, thanks for doing that. Appreciate you. Imagine you're there right now instead of being at home. When I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so pleasant about that place. Even your emotions had an echo in so much space. Mm -hmm. But when you're out there without care, yeah, I was out of touch. But it wasn't because I didn't know enough. Think 
advice But that's my only advice Come on now, who do you? Who do you, who do you, who do you think you are? <laughs> Start again, uh, Come on now, who do you? Who do you, who do you, who do you think you are? <laughs> Bless your soul You really think you're in control Yeah, yeah, yeah well, I think you're crazy I think you're crazy Had the heart to lose their lives out on a limb. And all I remember was thinking, I wanna be like them. Ever since I was little, ever since I was little, it looked like fun. And it's no coincidence I've come. No, 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 no. And I can die when I'm done. Maybe I'm crazy Maybe we're crazy Maybe you're crazy no. Probably That's a, that was a good time for it to drop. I was finished. Anyway, blam. We've done the two covers. Singing accomplished. Nice. Um, I'm gonna read some. Uh, I'm gonna read some messages. So, uh, Soph says, Zach, please, did you like my promo dance for freedom? I loved your promo dance for freedom. I, th I think I retweeted it because it was so good. You were letting loose. It was, it was as if you were singing to Only Women Naked. And the rule for Only Women Naked is you have to imagine you are naked in your bedroom dancing to your favorite song. So, you know, maybe Freedom is your favorite song. I'm not saying you were naked. Um, and I'm not saying you should have been naked either. But you were dancing as if you were naked. And for that reason, I'm going to give you a 10 out of 10. So well done, Soph. Um, Chloe says, can Soph be your backup dancer, please? Well, look, if I'm ever, if I ever get backup dancers, then, you know, um, I'll probably recruit Stormzy first just because he, he, uh, mentions backup dancers quite a lot. Um, but after Stormzy, then I'll, I'll try and get you involved. Uh, Ruthie says, yes, fudging love this song. Get it. Nice use of language there. Nice. Caitlin says, simple yet effective. Um, Chloe Neal says, fascinating. I wonder what that was about. Uh, Isma reminisces upon when, it, when she lost her mind. She says, I remember when I lost my mind. Who knows whether she's talking about the song or whether she's genuinely reminiscing upon the time when she, she lost it. We'll never know. Um... Uh, Ill Spire Fitness says, when this is all over, I'm going to make it a point to see you live. That is the fighting talk that we know and love here at Zach Abel Corp. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, come to a show. Uh, cool. Let's, let's do some questions and then we'll get some people in. JC Stewart, teach me your... No. I forget. JC Stewart, come on. 